Instead of taking the derivative right away, what I like to do is square both sides first, so that process is a little nicer. So t squared equals x squared minus 1. Now differentiating both sides, we have 2t dt equals 2x dx. So those two can twos cancel out. So t dt is basically x dx, which I'm happy about because, look, here's x dx. Great. And then this square root of x squared minus 1, that's just my t. So the only issue is that now I have ln of plain old x right here. So I need to solve for x in terms of t, and I'm going to do so using the fact that t squared equals x squared minus 1. So that means x squared equals t squared plus 1. And so x equals plus or minus the square root of t squared plus 1. So how do we contend with this plus or minus? How do I know what to work with or what to do? Well, look back at the original integral. The domain is restricted, my integrand's domain, because notice here I have a natural log of x. So x has to be 